And uh, how, how's the season going for you so far, guys? It's been really good for us. Um, we've uh, put in the effort, the work, and uh, I don't think we've, we've not been at the prize list this season so far, um, which is which is good. Uh, we've won, won quite a few, certainly the, the minors in our own branch area, and we've been placed in every, every one of the majors so far, so we, we're really happy with that. It's uh, certainly paying off. Yeah. Good stuff, and the drum call? Yes, um, it's very much the same as the band. Uh, very successful season so far. We've, we've got a big competition to come on Saturday, so the work doesn't stop. We're pushing hard to try and see if we can achieve something special on the day. And what's it like to be playing in, in Glasgow this week in the run up to the run up to Saturday? Um, what's it like to be you know, marching down Buchanan Street? Well, uh, yeah, it's always special. You know, I mean, at, at this event, the whole week on the ramp to the Worlds, uh, like last year, although they, <laughs> it's a bit cooler this year. Um, but yeah, the place is buzzing. You know, I mean, a lot of people about. Up at the pipe centre, there's you know a, a good vibe about it. So I mean, we're excited to come through here and, and participate in these things. It's really good for us. It gives us a good run uh, through the week as well, getting, prep, getting things prepped for uh, Saturdays. And uh, in terms of the, the piping life festival and all the different things going on in Glasgow this week, is there any any particular highlight for for any of you guys? Is there anything you're looking forward to in particular? Well, we've got one of the tenor drummers taking part in drumming for drinks on Wednesday. I almost forgot about that. I was thinking, was there something <laughs> happening this week? But, um, yeah, Matthew Hunter, one of our tenor drummers, is taking part in the competition on Wednesday. Um, not sure what he's going to be playing, but yeah. getting involved with that and getting the band's name out, uh, things like that, is always, always good. Some of our guys will obviously be through for the, the Wednesday concert as well with uh, SFU, uh, so that, that'll be something to look forward to. But uh, we've also got ourselves we are participating in the open practice on Thursday evening up at the Pipe Centre as well. So we're, we're really looking forward to that coming back through for that. Yeah it's another another opportunity to showcase the band. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, you had a bit of a drumming emergency a couple of hours ago there. Just uh, tell how, how did you get that fixed? Um, the world of pipe bands and social media is an amazing thing at times but sometimes the world of snare harness maintenance can be a tricky one. Um, the harnesses we have, I think one of them, obviously, must be quite old, um, and one of the brackets just snapped on it this morning, and one of the drummers was like, I, I think I'll be able to fix it. Like, no, you're not be able to fix it. So um, we put an emergency post up on Facebook, and a drummer from Port Lethen, Tommy McAndrew, what a guy, um, came along, gave us a harness, and we had it 10 minutes before we played. So it goes to show, as I say, bad things can happen, but as much as we compete against each other in pipe bands, everyone's got each other's back, which is really, really good. Oh, yes, yeah, it's great to hear everyone uh, everyone coming to get, coming together to help each other out. Thanks for talking to us, guys, and uh, enjoy, the, enjoy the last performance of the day. Yeah, no worries. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.